Hi, this is John with Performance Plus Tennis. And today I'm gonna to cover a topic that one of our subscribers and loyal followers uh, sent in. He had a question uh, from the last video we did on surf power. And he said, hi John, I'm finding your surf videos to be really helpful. And I now have a much better understanding of what I'm meant to be doing and why. Could you please explain whether or not you should bend your back and neck as you toss the ball and reach the trophy position? I've been getting a sore neck from looking up at the ball. Well, wow, that's a great question and a really uh, important uh, subject matter for us to cover. So we're going to get into that in today's lesson. So this is a great question and a great topic to cover because I think so many recreational and club level players struggle with how to get into the trophy position to execute a great serve. So. To, to really get right into it, once I'm, once I'm really set up after I've done my routine, I take a look at the court and I'm in a very neutral position. Neck, body, head, everything is very neutral. And then when I enter into my toss, I stay dead still, but as I'm raising my arm, my head starts to lean back just slightly to get out of the way. And you'll see what I mean in a few minutes here. My head's gonna start to slide just a little bit away and you'll see virtually every pro be in that position. The one thing we don't wanna do is we don't wanna leave our head in. We don't want to be having our head to the, leaning to the right for a right-hander. We want the head to start just lean slightly away to the left. And then after I let the ball go, you'll see what happens is the arm continues to rise and only when the arm continues to rise does my, do my knees flex and I actually get into my trophy position. But in this position, I'm really not arching my back that much. So I really am not a big fan of arching the back. And you'll notice that when I get into my trophy position, while there is some arching in my back, it's a pretty straight line from the back of the knees to the shoulder blades. So it's that position when I flex the knees forward that my, my upper body actually leans back slightly and that makes it fairly comfortable for me to look up at the ball. So when I'm looking up at the ball, my head is back and it's slightly to the left so that my head is literally out of the way as I'm in this position. And that's gonna be important to make the correct move onto the ball as you play, play your swing. So you can see from the rear view that when I get into my trophy position that I have a fairly straight line from the back of the knees to the shoulder blades. There's not excessive arching of the back because this puts me into a, into a fairly weak position. I don't want to get myself out of alignment or too far into an arch because then I've got to be able to execute myself out of that. So let, let the knees flex forward and let your back go back and then you can still center over your feet and look up at the ball. But you'll notice that when I look up at the ball, my neck is not moving very independently of my body. Look at that. It's pretty much moving with the body. So there's not a lot of neck movement. You see a lot of club level players and rec players that never get into a trophy position where the head is tilted like this to find the ball. And the problem with this is I'm really in a weak position now. I don't have a good balance. It is a very weak position. So the key thing that's really gonna help you here is to lead with the left hand. And I've said this in many of my serve videos. If you lead with the left hand and stretch it up, your shoulders will automatically bank and then you're gonna get into a nice angle. And then if you just complement that with just a slight lean back with your head and just a slight lean forward, you'll be in a perfect position to make your move onto the ball. So what I mentioned earlier, a lot of times you'll see players will toss the ball and they'll keep their head centered. And when you do this, you really can never get your shoulder up. So you end up serving the ball with your shoulders very, very horizontal. It's very difficult to get power. When you get into the proper angle, now you can rotate shoulder over shoulder and your head is out of the way so that you can get your shoulder up. So the head has to lean out of the way and you'll see every professional does this. They're out of the way and they're really looking at, at the contact from the side view like this. And that's really important. And that being able to get into that position originates with this first move where I just feel like my head leans slightly to the left, slightly forward and gets out of the way. So now I can make my move onto the ball. So I hope this helps understand the role of the neck in particular on the serve as you enter into the trophy position. Very, very important that you have a, an alignment that's repeatable so that you avoid injury and optimize your performance. I hope you'll take this idea to the court. 
I also think it'd be beneficial to look at this in a mirror or make sure you're filming yourself to make sure that you're in a good alignment and have a good position when you're serving. Otherwise, injuries are likely to crop up. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe to our channel here. Leave your comments down below and let us know if there's something you'd like us to cover. And also, click in the link in the description down below to get my free guide to developing the key concepts to a professional quality serve. And this will help you understand the things you need to really master to achieve your full potential as a server. Thanks for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next lesson.